Hello, Jeremy Chambers, Independence Acres Homestead here. We're really excited about this next project we're going to be working on. It involves one of our favorite things, coffee. About four years ago, I had a great idea, and that was to roast some coffee. It's a great idea, but I had some poor execution. The biggest problem I had was that I didn't have a good place to roast it. And I thought it'd be a good idea to throw it in a pan on the stove, turn the stove on, and just start cooking it. Well, let me tell you something. As much as I love coffee, I hate the smell of roasting coffee in the house. It was not pleasant at all. As a matter of fact, my wife threatened me that if I ever got a dumb idea like that again, I was out. So after doing a little bit of research and uh, you know working on some ideas in my head, about two years ago things finally came together and I was able to build a coffee roasting drum out of some wonderful stainless steel mesh. All stainless steel hardware, beautiful. It can hold about uh, two pounds of coffee for roasting. But then I ran into another problem was uh, a heat source. Now uh, I could have gotten a nice gas burner and uh, been using that to roast the coffee but instead I decided to do it over an open fire over a nice hardwood open fire worked great we had uh, you know great success with the coffee uh, so much so that uh, we decided to sell a little bit of it at the first homesteaders of America conference and it was an instant hit well uh, eventually that uh, firebox we were using from our grill rusted through and now I'm kind of left in a little bit of a pickle today and that is that I do not have a firebox for roasting my coffee. So uh, over the next couple days we're going to be working uh, on getting a firebox made. All right so what I've got here is a 16 gallon drum. I'm going to be cutting this thing about a 60-40 split. 40% we're going to kind of discard or use in other places, and 60% is going to be our base for our uh, firebox for the coffee roaster. This is the tool I was telling you about. This thing's pretty cool. It is a uh, nibbler that attaches to the drill, and as you drill, you can see a little nibbler in goes in and out there. and. Uh, takes out bits of metal and it makes the uh, job of splitting this drum pretty easy. All right, drum is split. 40, it's a little loud. So this is the side we're gonna use. So the goal for tonight is to get three legs put onto the bottom of the drum. So we're gonna lay this out and uh, get these holes drilled. We want to have these legs give us about two and a half inches off the ground. That way I don't have any issues with hot spots, you know, burning any of the grass. You know, I can put it just about anywhere in the yard and not have to worry about it too much. These are just some uh, three quarter inch uh, square uh, steel tubing that we're gonna be using in order to get this, uh, these legs put on today.
Okay, all three legs are on and I have all of the bolts finger tight. All right, now I purposely put all of the bolts that uh, hold these legs on, bought them just a little long because uh, I need something to hold up the fire grate. The fire grate that we got found out that a um, fire grate for a Weber Little Smoky is actually the perfect size <clears throat> to go down in this 16 gallon drum. It's uh, exactly 14 inches in diameter. Two days later. Today is day two of the coffee roaster firebox build. Um, enjoying a cup of morning joe here. We didn't actually get to this the day after the first portion that we recorded. Life got a little busy for us Thursday and Friday, so uh, here I am coming to you Saturday morning before we head over to some soccer games. Um, this morning we're going to be focusing on getting the air inlet welded onto the barrel here and then also figuring out how we are going to suspend the rotating roasting drum above the firebox. Now just like with my concrete work, I am not an expert welder. I do my best. Everything that I do is functional, but it's by no means pretty or perfect. So, um, you know, I just have a, a little inexpensive, you know, 110 amp, excuse me, 110 uh, volt um, wire flux welder here that I got at Harbor Freight for like 90 bucks, some six, seven years ago. Just use it for basic repairs here around the house uh, and for projects like this. Um, we actually did a pretty big project with it last year, which was building our uh, rabbit transport trailer to go to the Homesteaders of America conference. But it's great to have it around for small projects like this. welded in here. Now uh, the next step is going to be uh, rectangling off this opening a little bit so that we can direct the heat to the roasting drum as much as possible. So I'm just going to take uh, just a basic hammer and uh, some 4x4 and we're going to use that uh, to square or uh, rectangle this off a little bit to match the shape of the drum. All right, a little bit of elbow grease and a cinder block, and uh, we're able to get it basically into the shape that I want. So now all we need to do is create a way to suspend the drum above the firebox here. Um, now I could go crazy and weld something up, but I'm just trying to be quick and dirty right now because I really need to roast some more coffee. I'm running a little low on fresh roasted coffee here in the house. So instead, I'm just gonna make some stanchions uh, out of some scrap lumber that I have laying around so that we can get a fire going in this thing. I'll get a fire going in it. Uh, we'll burn off all of the paint and the labels that were on the 16 gallon drum here. And then uh, once it cools down later on today, we'll get a coat of paint on it and uh, should be good to go. All right, here it is in a nutshell. Still have a little bit of reinforcement to do on the legs of the stanchions here. Just want to give you guys an idea of what it's going to look like. This is going to give me the ability to keep this roaster going uh, for a couple hours at a time, being able to roast 
15, 20 pounds of beans in an afternoon. This is going to be a great addition to the homesteading and to keep me going for years to come. If you enjoyed this video, we'd appreciate a like. You could also make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Uh, we'd really appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, God bless.